two people have been arrested in connection with the disappearance of 16-year-old Rebecca Watts from Bristol. It comes after about 150 people joined a search for the teenager, known as Becky, during which a laptop was found. Becky was reported missing after failing to return home to Crown Hill, St. George, on February 19. Police released a statement from Darren and Angie May Galsworthy, her father and stepmother, who say they continue to hope that she will be found safe. But we will prepare ourselves for the worst, they said. We would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has assisted in the search for Becky and for the messages of support. We continue to work with the police to bring their investigation to a successful conclusion and we would like to ask members of the public to continue to report anything, however small if they think it may help to find Becky. Officers said the search for Becky will continue while two people were being held in custody for questioning. The recovered laptop was given to police who are yet to comment on whether it is significant, but the force said that when Rebecca went missing she had her own computer with her. As well as her laptop, Rebecca had her mobile phone with her but no clothing when she went missing, the force said. John Galsworthy, her grandfather, said the family were trying to remain strong as the search intensified. Leaflets distributed. Addressing those who had gathered, he said, we are broadening the search. There are groups separate to ours who are going out using their own initiative, going wherever necessary to try and find her. We are continuing in the hope there may be something discovered today. We want everyone to keep their eyes and ears open. Detectives have previously searched Troopers Hill Nature Reserve as well as Rebecca's family home, which is close to St. George Park. On Friday debts up Liz Tunks, head of Avon and Somerset Police's major crime investigation unit, took over the case. As part of the search, Mr. Galsworthy said more than 6,000 leaflets had been printed, with around 1,500 more expected to be delivered next week.